Hi, so I don't normally do reviews for my aquarium stuff, but I'm doing one for the Coral Life 65 gallon super skimmer. I got it on Monday and today is now Friday. And here's my tank. So you can see what I've got going on. A couple of clowns, a chromie, a um, frog spawn, a toadstool over there coral, a brain, a couple of frags, um, one SPS coral, and anemone, um, sea urchin, there's a dragonette somewhere in here, a bunch of crabs and snails. I had been getting, starting to get some, uh, some algae down in the sand bed and, and on the glass, and it wasn't very pretty, and the oil on the top was kind of annoying, you can still kind of see it. Um, it was a lot worse on Monday. So we got the Super Skimmer Coral Life, um, and after day five, this is what we're getting. It's pretty decent skimmy. Um, it's very recently gotten much thicker, much um, more discolored. You can see it's it's getting super yellowy, browny grossness. We got some good good wet skimming going on. Um, so yeah, overall, not not terribly displeased. It took a little modifying. Um, for some reason, the the level of the bubbles wants to be above the just like at or above the level of the water in the in your tank. So I had to boost it up quite a few inches. You can see it. It should be leaning here on the tank, but it you know we we raised it up about four or five inches. Um, actually, that's probably about five inches. Um, but as soon as we did that, you know, we, we added a, a tube to get it down into the, the, the uh, not the flexion cup, the, the output cup for the bubbles. And we're getting very few micro bubbles. Almost none, actually. Um, now that we are, you can see, and they're, they're very few and they dissipate really quickly. Um, so yeah, after five days, not terribly bad. I'm, I was surprised because, you know, it had gotten a couple of slam reviews on other pages, but overall not doing a terrible job. Um, yeah, cool. So, um, Coral Life 65 gallon super skimmer. It can be used hang on the back or in sump. Uh, not, not a terrible product. Um, it just takes a little bit of patience, a little bit of tweaking. It took me about three days to get this to the point where it was producing decent skimmate, and it's improved vastly over the last 24 hours. It took a three-day break-in period, um, but all things considered, I've, I've heard of people having one week, two week, ridiculous amount of time break-in periods, and that just wasn't the case here. Um, the only thing that I would note is that I, at some, somewhere in here, I have a tiny, tiny, uh, micro leak. So every now and then I get a little drip down. So I, I put that there until I can get some silicone to, uh, to fix that up and make it better. Or, you know, a new gasket, because clearly the gasket that it came with isn't thick enough or just isn't doing the job right. Um, but yeah, not, not too bad after, you know, a couple of days. So yeah, that's about it. And here's another shot of the tank. Clowns, power head. Sea urchin. And that's about it. Cool. Thanks. Bye.